my experience with Luma Fusion editing um, one of our episodes. And uh, so I took the footage from our last episode and put it into Luma Fusion on the iPad and uh, was pretty successful at replicating the workflow and pretty much getting it almost close to uh, what it was. It just kind of let me down only in the sense that there were two um, two filters that I applied to the audio to really um, make the audio stand out a lot more. And uh, that, that, sim- that function simply wasn't available in the LumaFusion app. But I mean, really, you know, um, between that and the concept of maybe even trying to use the iPad to record um, the podcast, which I think is actually something we should try at some point. Um, you know, so I- um, it's really fascinating. I'm really taken with this, uh, the form factor and the, the fact that you could do this. And something that we mentioned briefly before we got on, it kind of puts into question for me laptops like the MacBook Air, for instance, because... The MacBook Air is not really good for the, uh, you know, more processor intensive and uh, graphic intensive apps like video editing, photo editing or or serious gaming or anything like that. So if you're going to buy that device, to me, the iPad would make more sense with a keyboard because it's got, because even though you might not get the Mac OS full experience on it, the benefits you get from using a tablet, I think, outweigh it and would make more sense in that respect and if you then needed the laptop you should just get the macbook pro or equivalent laptop yeah well that's right i mean uh i don't know we've commented on many things around this apple's got a lot of products at the moment i I mean i wouldn't even know where to begin but Mm. certainly the airbook that was a promise of really well maybe in some ways it was really just the precursor to the ipad all those mm. years ago when it first came out lightweight you know a little bit lighter on but uh you know enough to do a little bit of uh, i guess you know microsoft office style work mm. so now i really don't know where it sits but um what you're making the the ipad pro sound is like very a really exciting tool now and it was only a couple of years ago we were lamenting it didn't seem to have much uh, much to offer beyond just being a browser and, and, and an app yeah. game playing uh, device. But now this is really revolutionising uh, the future and, and if this keeps going this way, maybe even the MacBook Pros sort of under threat to some extent. 